Yeah, I wanted to make a quick video today. It's uh, January 22nd, 2021. Um, some really weird times that we're in, of course. Okay, so I'm, I guess I'm just wanting to say a couple things so that I can kind of just record it for myself, you know, and just let people know where I'm at. And, um, you know, it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual battle on the individual level, on, um, the corporate level with uh, the church and with the uh, United States, you know, those people that come together on a, that still believe in the Constitution and the rights and the ability to, to worship our Heavenly Father and, and do it without reproach from the government or anyone else. And on a global level, because this is a fight against good versus evil, I mean, this is basically just comes down to God trying to... Um, Go ahead and clear out the evil that's in the world and make a way for his children. Uh, I began to sit here um, and think about the promises that the Lord has put out there. And, you know, he's not a liar. Uh, I'm going to agree with what he's got for me and uh, try and live it out and be the best person I can be in order to share the gospel and let fo folks know what's coming what to prepare for. Uh, guys, you've got to take the time. I, I don't care. You've got to make... you got time to watch, you know, eight hours of Netflix. you got time to wa uh, to read, you know, two hours of the Bible. Get into it. Let the Holy Spirit guide you through it. Pray for the Holy Spirit to come in and help guide you through and give you some um, insight that you haven't had before as you go through the Scripture to open your eyes. You know, he confounds the simple things to 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 confuse the wise. So some people are just so logical, they can't even see the simple truth. Uh, if it came up and bit them on the hind end, they wouldn't know it. So take that time, say, Lord, just open this word up to me. And then, uh, you know, go into Matthew 24. Look at, you know, if you've got a Bible that happens to get have the red letters. That's, that's what Jesus said, you know, so... Go with what he said. Don't go with what somebody told you or what you heard before um, in the past. You know, you've got to find your, you've got to study and find yourself approved. This salvation thing is an individual thing. You actually have to seek out Jesus. You have to knock and he'll open. You have to ask and he'll come. So, you know, you can't rely on somebody else. You can't rely on your family being Christian that you could really, well, you was raised in a Christian family, that has nothing to do with it. You have to seek out Jesus and say, look, I receive you. I accept the gift. I understand what you did for me on the cross. You died for me that I might have eternal life with you and not have to suffer eternally in hell. You have to come to that understanding. Once you do that, then your life can open up to a different situation. You can begin to live a kingdom life here on earth until he returns. You can prepare yourself and prepare the ones you love and prepare the ones that you work with and the people that are in your world around you for what's to come. Because it doesn't look like it's going to be, you know, from what what it looks like it's going to take place. You know, it could get a lot worse before it gets better. Um, but scripture told us that would happen. Be, be of good cheer that Jesus has overcome the world. So you may have tribulations, but blessed are those that endureth until the end, it said in Daniel, book of Daniel. So Ezekiel, the book of Daniel, uh, the book of Jude, um, all those, if you can spend that time this week and really get into the Word, even if you have to get one of those, uh, download those apps that speak the Bible so you can listen to it and then ask the Holy Spirit to let it absorb into your mind and and have an understanding beyond uh, our understanding. So do that. Uh, I pray for you guys today. Pray for me. Uh, if you'd like to help this ministry out, I'm in the Myrtle Beach area now, um, trying to sp spread the gospel and do it in a way that um, it brings folks in. Uh, be careful with the Bible. You know, it's kind of like a hammer. You can build a house with a hammer, or you can tear a house down with a hammer. So, um, you know... The Bible's called a cannon. Uh, be cautious. Don't don't blow your cannon on somebody and hurt them. So use it as a, a tool to share love, um, but also 
as a tool to bring truth and understanding beyond, um, you know, God's ways are higher than our ways. Um, so we have to just accept that and, and move on. Some of these things that are taking place, the evil is just so embedded in this country. Uh, the demonic presences have been in this country so long that um, only Jesus can fix this situation, as we've seen so far. If they can steal an election and rig it up like this, um, this is a lot worse than a lot of people ever could have imagined that America would ever become something like this. And then I think it's going to actually have to get so bad that people are going to realize that they didn't, this ain't what they expected when they thought they were going to get socialism. They didn't expect socialism was going to be this horrible. So be prepared. People are going to wake up to the, the nightmare that they have um, voted for or are accepting or that's been shoved down our throat, every way you want to put it. Um, still the outcome is the same. We've got a scoundrel, a liar, a thief, a traitor, a sellout in the White House. And um, all those little lackeys are coming in are from the old Obama administration. And don't be surprised when Obama pops his little evil head out of the hole and claims that he's now the, the Antichrist figure that's going to come onto the scene and destroy us from the inside like he's been doing for the last four to eight years, 12 years, um, and just keep going with it. So just be prepared. Um, I don't put anything past the enemy. Uh, he's a horrible scoundrel, killer, stealer, thief, liar, murderer, uh, and he don't take a day off. So be prayed up. Uh, be uh, discerning. Always be testing the spirits that are coming at you. Um, trust the Lord and go forward daily with the armor, full armor of God, so you can withstand the the treacherous enemy. The devil, Lucifer, Satan, the demons, the fallen angelic realm that are coming against us in this time. You know, whatever else they want to throw at us. The evil government, the greed, the thievery, the, the pedophilia, everything that's evil. I pray down and crush today. I cut its throat so that it can no longer survive in a spiritual manner so that the principalities and the darkness cannot cannot be around cannot hold a hold in this area you got to pray the boundaries around your home pray for the boundaries around your community pray around the boundaries of your city your state your country just pray against the principalities and the evil because it says paul says we don't fight against flesh and blood but against the principalities and the dark leaders in, 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 in dark places and, and evil, just basically evil, manifested in men that have sold out for uh, um, kingdom, earthly kingdom money, earthly kingdom power, earthly kingdom sexual abilities to enjoy their, their life and get along with uh, every kind of sickness you can think of, every kind of, dis every kind of horror you can imagine these folks do with pleasure so we crush all that and we come against it in the name of Jesus and I pray for strength courage ability wisdom kingdom living on earth as it is in heaven with the Heavenly Father providing our needs and meeting our needs and protecting us if it be like it was in Egypt times when Moses was coming against the Pharaoh if we got to see and go through the plagues. I pray that they do not come against our go our doorsteps. We have the blood of Christ Jesus over our door frame to protect us from the, the angel of death. And uh, any kind of sickness or illness that they try and either create or put on us, we break that. And the illnesses that the devil tries to take us out with, we break that in Jesus' name. So I pray strength and abilities today to get through this thing called life and and to, and to do well for others and to do well for our family. Um, and I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day.